Hi, in this video, I'm going to be doing a Clues' copy review after six months, and then I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to create short form and long form content using Clues' copy. So let's jump right into it. I was asked by a Davida Jane Brown two days ago um, how to do a like, to do a quick tutorial on Clojure's copy. So I figured I might as well do a quick review after six months and include a tutorial in it. So let me go into Clojure's copy and let me go into the dashboard. All right. So the very first thing you want to do, you want to create a new project. But before I get into that, let me just go over. Um, what I feel about closes copy after six months. So the very first thing is uh, most AIs, though for those who don't have don't use AI tools a lot, especially AI content writing tools, a lot of them is pump and dump. What that means is they build the the AI content writer and then they just try to sell as many to as many people as they can and then they stop production of it. They stop upgrading it or you know they just they just dump it essentially. And that's that. That's especially true with a lot of the lifetime AI content writers. I, I, I'm sorry to say that, but that's just from my experience. Uh, I would like to say real quick that Closes Copy is not one of them. Uh, they they constantly they do have a lifetime membership, uh, lifetime purchase. However, they constantly constantly improve on their product. So let me cover the strengths and weaknesses of Closes Copy. So you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to buy it because it might work for you and it might not fit, fit your needs. All right. So I, I covered the, on the first one real quick already, which is it, they constantly update everything. When I first uh, started, they owned, they didn't have SEO. They didn't have uh, compete. They didn't even have long form. Uh, they just had, I think, frameworks and maybe some – Maybe some workflows. Yeah, I think they had just frameworks. Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions again. I've mentioned in another video how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate my channel and to save time while building traffic. So hey, if you're interested in how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate a lot of your work and to build traffic, uh, I'll put a link in the description and it will take you to the course where you can see how I do that. It's just there for people who are interested. So let's get on with the video. Then you had to go, yeah. They had frameworks and maybe, uh, let me see, is it libraries? Okay. They, they only had one of these things. So they're constantly improving on their product. The other good thing is it's very good for YouTube description or product description. So if I go into frameworks and I go into video descriptions, this is for YouTube. All I have to do is just basically paste in the tags that I want. Uh, set the creativity level. I, I like to set it to maybe 55 and then click write for me. That's pretty much it. I don't have to write a sentence using this. I don't have to do anything. I just uh, click on, just to, I just dump all the tags that I need. And then I set the creativity level. And if it's, you know, to what I already like it, I just click on, on write for me. And then up here, there will be a counter. As you can see, it's uh, counting down. And then once it's it's done, you'll see at the very bottom this green what what it what it wrote for you in green. So it should take a couple more seconds, and there you go. So and it creates a readable descriptions for your video, right? So you got four of them right here, five sorry five of them, and they're all pretty decent. All right, let me just read one real quick to you. This is how to convert audio files to text files without spending a dime. Audio to text. Uh, this one's a bit wonky. Let me go to this one. Okay, here. This video shows you how to convert audio to text. This tutorial teaches you how to convert audio text for free. Okay, here. In this video, we will explain the best way to convert audio to text and convert your audio into text in just a few clicks. We will also show you some simple and easy way to convert audio into text with just a few clicks so you don't need any additional software or tools to do this. All right, so you can always reset it to something higher if you want, and yeah, that's 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 where its strength lies is basically adding the tags in here, and then doing a video description. Now you can also do a whole bunch of stuff. You can do um, press release, products, question and answers, reviews. So a lot of a lot of what what I mean by just product descriptions, what I mean is stuff that you have to do a lot. 
So YouTube video descriptions, that, that that's something you have to do a lot of. Uh, another thing that would have would uh, be very powerful is product descriptions. You have to constantly, uh, if you have a store or you're selling a course, you know, you have to constantly do product descriptions. This is very good for that, as well as, um, let me see, question and answers. All right, so it does pretty good, good question and answers, and even even reviews. Now let's move on to the next uh, thing. The next strength is the long form content, which is blog, blog form, blog posts, long form blog posts or blog content is good. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Okay, so if I were to go into blogs right here, it has a blog outline, titles. It does a pretty de decent job, and I'll show you uh, what I mean by this later on in the video, all right, and how this works. And then the last thing is it's one of the few AI tools that actually has a like a template that you can just use your your human input and you know basically fill in the blanks. So if you go into library. All right, other thing is they have a whole community built into this. So you can go ahead and and check out what other people are doing. You can you can add stuff and, and tweak the AI into your own product to write uh, certain pieces for just for what you need. Like this is a brand story, brand statement. You got uh, a whole bunch of different things. It's pretty pretty neat. All right, so it's basically like it adds a lot a lot more functionality than a lot of these other uh, AI tools, right? Because you can only write whatever they give you. This you can, you know, create. You can also customize and send a request and, and kind of make the AI write what you like. All right, so that that's the the other powerful feature of Closure's copy. Now let me also cover where it falls short because I want to be honest. Um, the output is not very. It's not the very best. But it's still good, right? And the other thing is the price. The price for the lifetime it it constantly go goes up. When I bought it, I think it was around two hundred, and now I believe it's four hundred, right? So that's the other downside. And the last thing is it does have a little bit too many features. So for those of you who want something very simple and easy to use, this may not be for you. But if you're if you want an AI tool that has uh, you know, kind of like a, it's good at everything, but not the master of, of of everything. This is this is the tool for you. All right. So uh, now that we have that covered, let me go into the uh, how to do a, a short form content. So let's say if I wanted to do something like let me go into frameworks. Right. It's really like short form content, and I wanted to do a video description. I would just type in. Uh, tag. Let's say I'm doing dog walking, so I'll just type in dog walking. Do a comma, um, dog training, comma, and dog uh, grooming. Okay, and that's it. I don't have to add anything else. I click uh, maybe move it up to 65. Click right for me. And basically, the only that's the other good and and bad thing about this is that it's a web-based tool, so. You don't have to install anything. It could run on uh, multiple systems, whether it's Mac or PC or even on your mobile device. But it, it does ha run a bit slow, like when compared to a uh, installed software. All right, so just wait a few seconds. It's almost done, and you should get the output. Okay, so here it is: dog walking video tutorial. All All right, so the best part of having a pet is that they are always by your side and they will never let you down. The dog walker is very important because they take care of your pet, groom them, exercise them. All right, and then they got this one. In this video, I'll teach you how to train a dog with food rewards. It doesn't matter what type of dog you have. I'll show you how to, to train a dog to walk, sit, lie down, shake, hands, jump, sit still shake off fetch and much more my tips are easy practical and more importantly effective this video is perfect for any new dog owners looking to get started all right that, that seems like a good um video description and and it, it goes the same for any other short form content you just kind of give it uh some kind of sample you can even give it very minimum like tags but if you want something more specific you can even give like a, a sample paragraph in here if you want and it will fill it out and, and try to emulate that writing style so it's it's very very simple to do uh short form content now 
Long form content is a bit more complicated, but it's nothing too hard. All right, so long form content, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a, a brief. So you want to, well, let's go with the headline. The headline, you can type something like dog walking. All right, so you would have to do it from the very beginning, the headline, and then from there you would have to add a brief. All right, it goes in here. It basically tells tells the AI what you're writing about to help uh, guide guide the AI or guide closest copy. So I'd say uh, I would like to show you several steps on how to walk your dog. Okay, that's my brief. No, and then uh, go to outline. Let me go copy this. Okay, so I made it. I'm making my brief. It's gonna take a few seconds here. Okay, so I like this one. We will teach you how to train your dog using natural methods. You will learn about how to walk your dog without the use of leash or collars. All right, that sounds good. Let me add that in. And then you go into outline. So you select what you like, go into outline. Okay, and then it's gonna generate outline based on what you selected. And give it like maybe nine seconds, eight seconds. All right, so the tip with the outline just that they don't tell you or show you or you have to figure out is, yeah, you can use the outline that the AI generates for you. All right, so I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second. But I want to show you a better method instead of using the outline. Like the outline is only good for like if you have no idea about the topic. Yep. Here we go. This is better. Okay, add this in. Now, now, let's say I had no idea about dog walking. Then, yeah, this 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 might work. Then you can highlight this and you can go ahead and fill it out. So I want to um, let's see, expand. Hold on. I want to make it. Nope. I want to make it longer, so I, I expand it. I can either do Control Q or I can do Control E. Now this uses the AI, so I like the Control E a lot, a lot better. Okay, and from here, it says start out by practice, practice walking your dog on a leash. This will help you get used to walking a dog without a leash and make it easier to walk without one when you need to. And then if you want to continue it, you just highlight it, uh, right click, and you can also continue, continue the expand, or you can improve upon it, rewrite it. Uh, you can just keep doing it all the way through. Now I'm gonna show you the better method, I think is a better method, is basically you would go into Google and search, uh, let me go show you real quick. So I would go into Google, And then from here, I would look for the best. Let's see, dog, I would just type in my keyword. And then right here, this is the, the one of the good articles that, that's ranking, so I just click on this. And then from here, I would just use this rewrite like get this point get the uh, the title and then the subheadings right rushing bathroom breaks I would just copy this and plop it into here oops instead of having what this is what the AI gave me and this is what the article has oops all right so from here, I can always rewrite it because you want, always want to rewrite whatever. You don't want to use it directly, okay? So you want to rewrite 
you want to rewrite this or put it in your own words. And then from here, you can go ahead and make a paragraph. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and expand this. Oops, it needs more information. So I'm going to say maybe for my dog. Let's try that again. And go into expand. Yeah, there we go. So then it, it writes me a piece. If you're noticing that your dog is rushing through bathroom breaks, it may be because they are anxious or in pain. Try providing a comfortable area for them to go, like a cozy bed or a mat, and make sure you are always close by to help them out all right and you can always do the same thing now by the doing it this way you get um a good skeleton for your outline all right because this ranked high and it did so for a reason so you're copying you're using the, the basic outline rewriting it and then putting it into your own words and having the ai help you flesh it out so this way you you get uh you can rank higher instead of just using everything in AI from the outline to the completion. So that's how I would do long form content such as a blog post. And it's other than that, it's pretty easy to use. Now, obviously the one thing that also they don't tell you about is the, let me see, the libraries function. It's constantly changing, but what you can do is basically you, uh, you can create templates all right, let me uh, not really templates. You can create like um, a recipe or different th different uh, AI functions. Uh, not back up. And basically, you can request it. So, I mean. All in all, is close the copy worth it? I think if you have to do repetitive, if you're doing a lot of content creation, a lot of repetitive jobs, then yeah, it's worth it because uh, you, you don't you don't have to pay for credits. Like most AIs now is a credit based system. It is a uh, you know you pay for X amount of credits, and on top of that, you have to pay monthly. So they get you twice. Um, some of them get you twice, and then others get you once on a monthly fee. But if you're buying this one time, now, if you do the math, uh, let's say even at forty dollars a month, and you hold it for just ten months, that's four hundred bucks right there. Then, if you use it more for a year, you've broken even, right? So, I, for example, why why I find it useful is that I like I don't like to write uh, YouTube descriptions. I don't like to do um, blog posts. Uh, I don't like to do a lot of my product descriptions when I'm selling like courses or digital products. And since I'm creating a lot of these things and doing it over and over again, this saves me a lot of time. All right. But if you're doing like a once off type of thing, all right, then this might be for you. Uh, this might not be for you. If you're just using AI for a once in a blue moon type of thing, then don't, don't do it and <laughs> save your money. But if you're like me and you're constantly creating content, um, doing doing a video description the old-fashioned method can be time-consuming right? and writing a product description for a whole bunch of products can be time-consuming and and if you you're like me and you like to save time 400 bucks if you do the math 400 bucks is a lot cheaper than hiring a free, even a freelancer to do it right? and it's more reliable too so that's my I, I hope this gives you an idea of um, how to use closest copy what it's good for and what it's not and makes you an informed decision. I'm going to leave a link below for you to go ahead and check it out. And uh, if you like it and you purchase it through my, my affiliate link, then I get a small commission and you help out this channel. And I just want to say thank you for that. But you can also go ahead directly to the, 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 the site and buy it yourself. But, um, you know, either way, uh, I really appreciate you watching the video. And uh, it would really mean the, a little world to me if you can please hit that like button. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.